It's Saturday and we kick it with three games on the agenda. My name is Andreas Sachinka and you're watching the KHL Update. We begin our journey in Habara Squam or still look for their first win as the host Red Army. Naoya Kupov makes his debut for the Tigers while 18-year-old goaltender of Samuel Skotnikov plays his first game ever in the K. And it doesn't go well for the home side. Former Peterborough feet Nikita Kerstilov scores his first goal for Red Army as he jams home the rebound on a power play. Exactly three minutes later, captain Sergei Andronov completes the great pass by Maxim Mamin to extend the lead. It's 2-0 for the red and blue now. Second period, now Yukupov makes a cross-ice pass to Dennis Golbov. He has a goal from the right circle, Skodnikov has a piece of it and the puck rings off the bar and back into play. It gets worse for Amor. Edmonton Oilers prospect Mitya Samarokov gives the puck to Konstantin Akulov who skates down top of the circle and zings it past Evgeny Alikin. Red Army have a commanding 3-0 lead. The Tigers show teeth early in the third. Alexander Gorshkov scores his second of the season just 32 seconds into the period. But it doesn't stop the blading. Maxim Maman gets his second of the year as well a few minutes later right after Amor kill off a penalty. And later in the frame, Maxim Sholonov scores his 100th career KHL goal right after Amor kill off another penalty. Red Army cruise to another easy win, while Amor lose their fifth straight. 5-1 is your final. We move on to Novosibirsk now, where Sibir play host to Conlorn Red Star. Both teams are looking for their first win of the season. And it turns out to be quite a show. No scoring in the first, so pick it up from the second. The Dragon Strike first. German Chaparov gets a cross ice pass from Sergei Manakov and he one times it home. Sibir tied up later in the period as Yefim Gurkin takes a slap shot from the point and beats Mr. Shikin. What a sizzler! They get in the lead three minutes later. Viktor Komarov scores on the rebound. Konstantin Alexeyev and Eric Aldel draw the assist of this one. Their period is completely off the rails. Less than two minutes in, Dmitry Arhipov dances to the net, whips on the shot, and former Red Deer Rebel Ivan Nikolishin scores in the broken play. Sibir regained the lead five minutes later with another power play goal. Alexander Sharov makes a cross ice pass, Igor Milovzorov takes a hard one timer, and Dmitry Sayustov gets his lumber on it. A little later, the Dragons get a power play goal of their own. It's a bit unorthodox. Alexei Kurchinian slashes his way to the net and scores his first of the season. Nikolishin has an assist on the marker. Next goal also comes on a man advantage. This time, Daniel Romansev hits the twine to give Sibir a 5 3 lead. Great assist by Josef Pustinin across the crease. Shortly after that, Vladimir Tervushin gets a cross ass pass from Nikita Korotkov and converts on the odd man rush. Red Star get back to within one late in regulation as they get another power play goal. German Chopper is close to second of the night and third of the season, but that's as close as they can get in this one. Sibir get their first win of the season in a high scoring affair. 5-4 is your final. We travel to Nur Sultan Kazakhstan now for our final game of the day. Boris take on Dynamo Moscow, who are yet to win a game this season. These two score a ton as well. Captain Darren Dietz puts Boris on the board as he rifles it home from the right circle. Alejandro Seda with the primary assist. Dynamo tied up four minutes later. Dmitry Yashkin decks Dietz with the head behind the net, sticks to the slot, finds the loose puck, and scores his second of the year. Boris get the lead back meter to the period. Ivan Bacharov stops the shot, but the puck stays loose and Curtis Balk buries it. Dynamo swap Bacharov while Alexander Yeremenkov to that and bring it back to square one meter for the second period. Team of Polkin takes the shot and jams home the rebound. Boris regained the lead again less than three minutes later, though. Linus Fidel celebrates his first goal of the year. They increase the margin later in the period. Darren Dietz converts on a power play for his second of the night and fourth of the season. But Dynamo managed to turn things around in the third period. First, Vadim Shipachev backhands it past Yoni Ordeo for his first of the year. 
And with 30 seconds on the clock, Shipachovskos is second of the game to convert on the power play with the extra skate around. It's a tight game and we go to overtime. And here comes the winner. Daniel Tarasov ends it in the last minute of the extra frame. Nice reset to bring Daniel with the first double year of the year. 5-4 is the final of this one as well. And that's it for the Daily KHL update, but do come back tomorrow as we're gonna have seven more games for you to enjoy, including Locomotive vs. Tractor and Avangard against Salavati Live. Should be a fun day. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.